Hello friends, welcome back to Online Chalkboard. We are dealing with class 10 chapter 1 real numbers. And so far we have discussed about Euclid's division lemma, Euclid's division algorithm and fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And we have learned how to calculate HCF as well as LCM using these. And today we would be revisiting irrational numbers and we will learn how to prove a number is irrational. We will use fundamental theorem actually to prove uh, a number is irrational. So if you haven't watched previous videos, the links are available in the description box. And if you are finding it useful, do share this video with your friends. And do not forgot, forget to subscribe this video and uh, for more notification, please do press the bell icon. So let's get started. In this section, we learn to prove root 2, root 3, root 5, etc. are irrational. Or in general, we can say that root p is irrational where p is a prime number. So here we will be using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic to prove that root p is irrational. We know a number is irrational then it cannot be written in the form p by q. Since if 2 is a rational number it can be written in the form p by q where this is actually 2 by 1 right 2 can be written as 2 by 1 in the form p by q and q not equal to 0. So when a number is irrational it cannot be written in the form p by q. Now we need to prove this. So before that we must know a theorem which actually based on fundamental theorem of arithmetic which says that if p divides a square then p also divides a. The theorem is given in page number 12, theorem 1.3. Let p be a prime number. If p divides a square then p divides a where a is a positive integer. We need to prove this and we know uh, if a is a positive integer then by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic a can be written as the product of primes a is equal to p1, p2 etc, pn. So a square is equal to p1, p2, p3 etc, pn into p1, p2, etc, pn. That is p1 square, p2 square, p3 square, etc, pn square. So, if p divides a square, this implies p is in the prime factorization of a square. That means p is in the prime factorization of a square. This implies p is 1 among p1, p2, p3, etc. pn. p is 1 among them. Since a is actually p1, p2, etc. pn, this implies p divides a. Since p is 1 among them, so p is in the prime factorization of a. So we can actually write p, this implies p is in the prime factorization of a. Since p is 1 among them, so p is in the prime factorization of a. This implies p divides a. So we got, we had to prove that p, p divides a then p, p, p divides a square then p divides a we prove that. So we will be using this theorem to prove that root 2 is irrational or root 3 is irrational or root p in general is irrational. Now come to theorem 1.4. Theorem 1.4 says that root 2 is irrational. We need to prove that root 2 is irrational. We will be using contradiction method. Contradiction method is quite easy and interesting one. 
how we do is we'll assume something that's not true like here root 2 is irrational we assume that it's true uh, that uh, we'll assume it's um, root 2 is rational just we assume the contradiction we'll assume the opposite part root 2 is rational and then we come to a contradiction after doing certain steps and we say that our assumption was wrong who hence our assumption was wrong therefore root 2 is irrational this is what we are doing to prove this is called the proof by contradiction so here i'll take assume root 2 is not irrational or what is that something that is not irrational is rational that is root 2 is rational we are assuming this this is our assumption we need to prove that uh, this this assumption is wrong and, and we will come into a contradiction actually so we got root 2 is rational a number is rational then what what is the peculiarity of that number yes it can be written in the form p by q so we will say therefore root 2 is equal to p by q by q not equal to 0 yes p by q because root 2 is rational can be written in the form p by q some p by q uh, there so uh, after uh, simplifying it we will write root 2 is equal to a by b where b is not equal to 0 and a comma b equals 1 what do you mean by a comma b equal to 1 it means the highest common factor of a and b is 1 that is a and b are co prime a and b are co prime we have just simplified this suppose it was 2 by 4 it can be it can be simplified into 1 by 2 most simplified form nothing no common any other common factor other than 1 a b are con prime so now you see root 2 is equal to a by b. I'll just take this b to the other side and write root 2 b equals to a. Now I'll just square both sides. I'll get squaring both sides. I'll get 2b square equals a square. So you see a uh, a square is equal to 2 into b square that means 2 is dividing this a square right a square can be written as 2 into b square uh, for example 4 uh, 6 can be written as 2 into 3 so 2 divides 6 similarly this implies 2 divides a square this implies 2 divides a by theta 1 point uh, 3 which said that if p is a prime number which divides a square then p also divides a so this implies we can write a is equal to some 2 into c instead of 2b square a can be written as 2 into some c c is an in integer uh, so you see we am substituting this in 1 I am taking this 1 so I will get 2b square equal to 2c the whole square so, 2b square equals 4c square, cancelling, I will get b square equals 2c square. So, I got here b square equal to 2c square. This implies 2 divides b square. Right, b square can be written as 2 into c square, it's just like here, a square is equal to 2b square, so I said 2 divides a square. This implies 2 divides b by theorem 1.3 or you can say if p divides a square, this implies p divides a. Or also the same theorem, if uh, p divides a square, this implies p divides a using this theorem 2 divides b so you got uh, 2 divides b as well as 2 divides a this implies the highest common factor of a and b is 2 therefore there exists a common factor of a and b is 2 but this is contradiction to something we said that the highest common factor of a and b is 1 this is a contradiction now we say this is a contradiction What? This is a contradiction to 
highest common factor of a and b equal to 1. We had actually simplified and we are got that now the highest common factor of a, b is 2. There exists another common factor. So this contradiction arised because we took a wrong assumption. What was the wrong assumption? Yes, that root 2 is rational. That was a wrong assumption. So we say that uh, this is a contradiction. Therefore, assumption was wrong. Root 2 is not irrational. Uh, so that is therefore root 2 is irrational. This is a contradiction to AB equal to 1. This contradiction arised because of our wrong assumption that root 2 is uh, rational hence by proof of contradiction root 2 is irrational this is a proof now let's come to example 9 which asks us to prove that root 3 is irrational. It is similar to how we proved root 2 is irrational. This is all uh, to prove root 3 is irrational. We use the same way how we proved root 2 that is by proof of contradiction. For this, we will assume something that we uh, need to prove wrong. That is, we will take root 3 is not irrational. Assume root 3 is not irrational means root 3 is rational. Therefore, root 3 can be written in the form p by q. This implies root 3 is equal to p by q where q not equal to 0. Simplify into the lowest form, simplifying such that a comma b is equal to 1. That is, there is no common factor for a and b other than 1. We can simplify it as a by b where b not equal to 0. Root 3 equal to a by, by b not equal to 0 where a and b are co-prime, a b co-prime a and b co-prime co-prime means there is they are uh, they do not have any other common factor that is called co-prime and then uh, similarly uh, uh, how we did for the next question we'll take b here root 3b equal to a square squaring both sides squaring we get 3b square equal to a square now from this this implies 3 divides a square, this implies 3 divides a. Since p divides a square implies p divides a from theorem 1.3. So, we can write a as 3 into some c. c is an integer. c integer, this implies we can substitute this in uh, substitute in 1 we we'll name this one i get 3b square equals to 3c the whole square that is 3b square equal to 9c square b square equals 3 divided by 9 9 by 3c square that is equal to 3c square so i got here b square equals 3c square that is 3 divides b square this implies 3 divides b by since p divides a square implies p divides a so i got 3 divides b here also i got 3 divides a and 3 divides b from this i can say the common factor of a and b is equal to 3 common factor of a and b is equal to 3 which is actually a contradiction to this. We got here AB equals 1. So now I am getting AB equals 3, which is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. 
symbol for contradiction is actually this. This is a contradiction. Why uh, we got a contradiction? Because our assumption here that root 3 is rational. That is wrong. So, we will say that root 3 is irrational by proof of contradiction. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. That is root 3 is therefore by proof of contradiction we can say root 3 is irrational. We proved that root 3 is irrational by proof of contradiction. This is exactly how you have to prove for each and every root p where p is a prime number. We have come across in class 9 that sum of a rational number and an irrational number is irrational and also product and quotient of a rational and irrational is also irrational. Now in this section we would be proving how they become irrational. So consider example 10. Example 10 asks us to prove 5 minus root 3 is irrational. We write, we'll do the same proof by contradiction. Here we'll assume that 5 minus root 3 is rational. Assume 5 minus root 3 is rational. That is, we can find co prime A and B, that is A comma B equals to 1 such that 5 minus root 3 can be written as a by b where a a b is equal to 1 means uh, their co prime a and b can be found out such that root 5 minus root 3 equal to a by b because root uh, 5 minus root 3 is rational. Now you see we can write 5 minus a by b equals root 3 just took this root 3 to the other side and brought this a b here. So I got 5 minus a by b is equal to root 3. You see 5 is a rational number, a by b is also a rational number. We took a by b is a p by q form, so it is of course a rational number. So difference of two rational numbers is rational. Therefore, 5 minus a by b is rational. Since difference of two rational numbers is rational, therefore 5 minus a by b is rational. So, from this, since 5 minus a by b is rational, this implies root 3 is rational. Is root 3 rational? We have actually proved root 3 is irrational in a previous theorem. Uh, but if the question comes for a greater mark, you will have to prove that root 3, this is also wrong. Uh, we will have to do it again like uh, if root 3 is rational, then root 3 equal to a by b. Then we we'll say that both have, uh, you, you can take here since you took a by b, you can take another uh, integers like c by d with such that c comma d is equal to 1 and use the proof of contradiction and uh, you will say that this is all, this is a contradiction since uh, uh, it will come into a contradiction and you say that it is wrong because um, uh, our assumption was wrong. So, or you can directly write it like this root 3 is irrational which is a contradiction since root 3 is irrational. Root 3 is rational. Therefore, our assumption was wrong. Our assumption that 5 minus root 3 is irra uh, rational was wrong. Since we got here root 3 is rational. If it comes for an uh, extra mark, after writing this, you can put a star and prove, give a proof for root 3 is irrational separately. That is also right. Therefore, 5 minus root 3 is irrational. This is our proof. Hence proved. This is how we need to prove when uh, a rational and an irrational number is added or subtracted. 
Now let's check another problem. Example 11. To show 3 root 2 is irrational. We need to show that 3 root 2 is irrational. Here also we will do the proof by contradiction. Proof. Assume 3 root 2 is rational. This is actually a product of a rational and irrational number. We are proving that it is uh, irrational by proof of contradiction that root 3 root 2 is rational. Therefore, we can find co-prime numbers A and B such that root 3 by 2 equal to A by B. Co-prime means a by B equal to 1 and A, sorry, co-prime means A, B, highest common factor of both of them is 1. So, we got here root uh, 3 root 2 equal to A by B. Now, this implies uh, I am taking root 2 equals A by 3 B. You see root 3 can be expressed as A by 3 B from this. So, A by B is already a rational number. A here a is a integer and 3b is also an integer a by b a by 3b is also a rational number that is this implies root 2 is rational right since root 2 can be expressed in the form a by b uh, therefore root 2 is rational which is a contradiction this is a contradiction right this is a contradiction why it become a contradiction because we assume that 3 root 2 is rational. This is a contradiction to what? To root 2 is irrational. Okay, this is a contradiction to root 2 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption was wrong. Hence, by proof of contradiction, we can see that 3 root 2 is irrational. If this question comes for a higher marks, you will have to put a star and prove root 2 is irrational separately. Using the theorem 1.4, you have to prove root 2 is irrational. If this comes for a small mark or if you are not satisfied, you can actually prove root 2 is irrational. Okay, so today we learned to prove how in general, root p or root of any prime number is irrational. By the proof of contradiction, we learned an interesting way of proving a proof of contradiction. And we also learned how the sum of a rational and irrational number is also irrational. And also a product of a rational and irrational number is also irrational. We will continue with the exercise question, exercise 1.3 in our next video. And if you have found this in a video to be useful, do share this with your friends and also uh, if you like this video, do like and support us. And thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.